What's exciting about Paul is that he's always new, he's always different, he's always growing, he's always building. Uh, you never feel like he's just repeating anything he's done before. I sort of sometimes describe how my music evolved as a composting process. I started out with a classical piano background when I was a kid and didn't particularly care for it. Took up rock and roll when I was around 12 years old. Fell in love with music through, through playing rock and roll, rhythm and blues and things like that. But I always had an experimental orientation and I started inventing musical instruments. I started to discover the classical, contemporary classical music world and that's where all the things that I've been involved in. So, pushing forward the classical tradition, combining it with vernacular music like rock and roll, and exploring uh, new technologies, electronics, and then of course inventing instruments. I think what we try to do in Studio Classics is to find people who defy category, and so uh, we don't look for those categories. It's exciting to have somebody who draws on as much on Jimi Hendrix as he does on John Cage. You have to offer them an experience that kind of takes them on a journey, and that's sort of my goal with music, is to take my audience on a journey.